With names like Sterling, Davenport, Richards, and Sumlin all gone from seasons past, it's time for a new group of wide receivers to step up for the 2015 Monmouth Hawks. Darren Ambush, the top target back from a season ago, finished with 23 catches for just over 300 yards and three touchdowns. Matt Choi also adds to the mix this year. Choi saw considerable playing time and increased his time during the course of the 2014 year. Highly touted recruit Reggie White Jr., who didn't see game action in 2014, but by all the counts impressed, working with the scout team and getting acclimated to the college game. Added to the mix, seniors Pat Gray, Mike Strange, sophomore Vinny Grasso, and a talented bunch of wide receivers from the freshman class. Coach, obviously a lot of experience lost with last year's group that graduated in the wide receiver group. This year's group, young, but by all accounts, very talented. Well, we think it is a talented group, Matt. I, I like what I've seen from the guys out here in that position. There's not a lot of them that have a significant game experience. I think Darren Ambush would be the one guy who played a significant number of plays last year. But other guys like Matt Choi, Mike Strange, Pat Gray, they're all veteran players now, and they have to assume the leadership role, and they have to assume the role of getting the most reps on the field. And then there's a younger group of players, you know, that we feel really good about. Reggie White Jr. is a guy that is a redshirt freshman who we feel is going to give us some, some significant reps this year. And I'm very happy with the progress of the freshmen in the position so far. When you think about it, how important is preseason for that group in particular just because, as you mentioned, the lack of reps on, on field and during game? Well, it, it's going to be incredibly important, you know, to get them up to being game ready and getting them a number of reps so they're comfortable and on Saturdays out here. And they're also working with a new player at the quarterback position. Who that is remains to be seen, but, you know, getting their timing down with whoever that guy becomes is going to be really important as well. Coach, obviously preseason important every year in the teaching aspect. I would imagine this year even more so the emphasis on that just because of the youth in the group. Yeah, we have a lot of young guys. We had four seniors that graduated last year. A lot of young guys, but uh, as long as they're willing to work, you know, they're going to get better. And right now this group's willing to work. When you think about it, a guy like Darren Ambush, a player like Matt Choi, all of a sudden, despite maybe some inexperience on the field, they almost become by default the leaders of the group. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And these guys have taken leadership roles, especially the young freshmen. Uh, and I think whenever, even if you lose guys, you're getting more and more reps. So with those reps in practice, you're become a better player. You're going to become a better leader. When you think about it, obviously playing time very open at this particular point, I would think that that's making the competition very impressive, very important during the course of preseason. Absolutely. It's very easy to motivate when there's playing time on the line. So we're excited about that. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of competition. No, no set starters, so everybody's competing. Reggie, last year for you, kind of that adjustment into college football, so much time on the scout team, not any game action. Just talk about what you learned during the course of last season. Uh, basically the uh, playbook. It helped me a lot learning from uh, Neil, Snoop, the older guys, and uh, Choi and them. They helped me out a lot. So getting against, go against the first team every day helped me out uh, a bunch. What are you looking forward to in this particular preseason camp? I would imagine now being able to make your mark on the field a little bit more. Just uh, proving ourselves, proving that we can play in the Big South and win in the Big South. And since all the uh, older guys left, prove that the younger receivers can make big plays and win games. Darren, what's it mean now for some of the newer and the younger freshman group, which obviously talented coming in, uh, but don't know the playbook, no experience in the college game yet. How much mentoring has gone on even in the first couple of days of practice? Um, there's a lot of mentoring. I mean, we're they're picking it up pretty well. Um, we have been studying a lot and trying to like, I don't know, teach them the plays as it, as we go. And when we install, uh, we just kind of take our time and try to like get all the details right with the younger guys. And they're starting to pick it up and they're starting to play. So. You come back as the top target from last uh, season a year ago, 23 catches as part of the wide receiver group. Obviously, you're the guy that could be particularly the go-to guy early on with the questions, not just with the wide receiver group, but also the quarterback position as well. Um, yeah, I mean, we're a pretty sound group. I mean, everyone can play and everyone can, can perform. So, I mean, we'll see how the season goes. I think everyone can, has an equal opportunity to be the top receiver. <laughs> Matt, last year you were able to see some time on the field. Obviously, I would think that was extremely important and invaluable going into a preseason camp like this. Yeah, definitely. Just getting to be able to touch the field a little bit is a great experience. 
I got experience, some game experience, and uh, just being able to play a little bit last year was very important. It was very good for me. What's it feel like for you to maybe already be a leader of this particular group because you do have that little bit of experience? Yeah, I mean, it's it's funny because like I'm still like not like one of the older guys yet, but like just off game experience, I have played a little bit, so it's like my job to mentor like some of the younger guys and like I have Devin Phelps as my uh he's my, I'm his month mentor so it's a good it's good for me to become also like start being a leader so it's good for me is this an opportunity for you and the rest of the group to play with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder you know because so many big names were lost from last year yeah I would definitely agree I would definitely say that because I mean we don't have Neil Sterling great receiver that we've had we kind of have a lot of young guys that haven't proven themselves yet but uh we have a definitely have a chip on our shoulder ready to uh, go to work <laughs> Adding some more intrigue and question marks in this particular wide receiver group who will be throwing the ball during the course of the 2015 season. As many as six quarterbacks could see first team repetitions all leading in to being named as the potential starter on September 5th against Holy Cross. Be sure to follow Monmouth University football on our various social media outlets, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and YouTube. Covering the Hawks practice in West Long Branch, I'm Matt Harmon on the Monmouth Digital Network.